Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and just as promised here is my video of myself playing Chaos Reborn against Julian Gollop, the game's creator. Now I do have to remind you that what you are seeing here is a prototype. That means the game isn't in beta, it isn't even in alpha. This is essentially just a proof of concept to demonstrate that the game's mechanics work. So pretty much everything you see in the video is going to be a placeholder. There are no animations, there are placeholder sounds, placeholder character models, uh, the user interface is very simplistic. All of this is subject to change. So don't look at this game and think, wow, is that what it looks like? This is just a way to demonstrate the mechanics of the game. So the game is going through Kickstarter, I will put the link below, so if you want to go and visit and show your support by backing the game, you can do that. This is the second game I played against Julian. The first one was merely Julian basically demonstrating the game to me and telling me how to play it. Didn't take me too long to pick up, and this is my second and first proper game against Julian. We are communicating on live comms via Skype, so there is going to be a little bit of reduced audio quality, but I hope you enjoy the game as much as I did. So, until next time, goodbye for now. We are in. Oh, this, this is much more of a of a funneled map, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, this will be. Oh, but you can go around the outside. Yeah, you can go around the outside. You can basically you can ascend from one level to the next level, but not from the lowest level to the highest level. There's three different levels in the in the map. Okay. Now I'm going to have a look at my spell selection and see what I've got. I will immediately go for dwarf. He's a nice. So I, I can walk. <laughs> I can walk onto the low level as if it was a step. Yeah, so you have to think of it as steps there. Right, okay. And then to get onto the highest level, you either have to go up from the lowest level or have a flying yep. ability. Okay, that makes sense. Don't want to have to back myself into a corner, but at the same time... Let's get over here out of the way. Oh, a successful cast. Yeah, that's good. Now, the eagle is a flying creature, and they are like wizard assassins. They can move up to four spaces, and they kind of hop, so they, they sort of fly over any intervening terrain or creatures. Okay. Um, now, what can I? What have I got to deal with this? Let me have a look. I think more than anything, I wanted to test my ability to be able to summon a creature onto a adjacent tile that wasn't the same height. Yeah, you can do that, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely... Actually, I should really be going for chaos here. Let's just try that. Uh -huh. Okay, a goblin. Here it comes. Also, I see on the uh, left-hand side of the screen, there's a little counter that currently says five and two. Yeah, those are your victory points. Now, you get victory points for casting spells and killing creatures, and you get a whole load, shed load, 100 for, for killing an enemy wizard. And there's a turn limit. You can see in the top there, it says turn 2 out of 20. And um, once the turn limit reaches 20, the game is over. And if we're both still alive, it's, it's the player with the highest number of victory points that wins. Right, OK. So now you want to somehow try and manoeuvre your uh, eagle so that you can attack my wizard. Can't, oh, can't reach him. It. Can't reach him this turn. But <laughs> it's also a case of making sure that I don't put myself anywhere where you can just one-shot me. Yeah. And I have to mm. protect myself at the same time as well. Okay. And your turn. If you've finished. I have ended my turn. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just missed my new turn screen because I was taking a sip of tea. Um, now. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, you're going to get me next turn. I've got to do something here. I've got to do something. What's it going to be? Oh, let's just summon this one because this is going to be good. <laughs> Put a zombie there. Try and protect myself with creatures for the moment. 
it's your only option. Um, yes, I do have to... Uh, I know you're going to do something sneaky, I just haven't decided what that's going to be yet. <laughs> I, I do have a plan. Um, let's see if it works. So it's, it's really tempting sometimes to try and cast some of these higher ranked um, spells or some of these bigger creatures, but they've got yeah. such, a, yeah. such a small chance of working. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you've got an elephant. Well, that's good because you can ride the elephant. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm assuming that one isn't a flying mount. No, but it's it's the toughest mount. It'll give you a lot of protection. The elephant's really quite tough. I do like how all of the uh, all of the pieces on the board sort of turn to face it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. Okay, my goblin's going to go off on attack duty, but I will bring my dwarf back for defense duty. Just get behind my dwarf and my zombie and bring out a yeah, skeleton. Let's get this one out. Do the dwarfs and the goblins have any special abilities or are they just sort of very basic melee units? No, I mean the, the dwarf is is very is tough. He's defensive, and he's got a drawback as well that he he's very he's slow. He only moves one space. Right. Okay. Short legs. Yeah. The goblin is um, he's better at attack than defense. He's more of an attacking attacking unit. So uh, and he's cheap to cast. Really cheap. Easy, I should say. Not cheap. Now you've got a conundrum because you can you can't attack my zombie. You could attack my you could attack my dwarf, uh, but you can't attack my wizard because I've protected myself quite well there. Well, it didn't work. It was worth a, was worth a try. That's slightly smacks of desperation, but. <laughs> Harry, you've got to try these things out. You've got to see them at least once. Yeah, the dragons are awesome. They, they're flying and they've got ranged attack. Um, I played a game against uh, a guy the other day. I, I, I had a dragon. I, I I was attacking. His wizard was on a, on a mount, but I, w I was attacking his mount with my dragon. And um, he subverted it. The spell called Subversion, which is you, know, you take control of an enemy creature. And... Um, you know, he he thought he was onto a winner, but I also had a, I also had a subversion spell, so I just subverted the dragon back. <laughs> but then, swapsies. Yeah, but then the weird thing is, he managed to kill the dragon with uh, I think it might have been a goblin, some you know relatively weak creature that normally would be have difficulty. Uh, oh yeah, you probably you really need to get on top of your elephant, by the way. Right. Okay. Use it back. Mount. Um, should I try casting this or not? Yeah, I'm going to have a go. 57% <laughs> chance. It's a very powerful spell. Um, Is there ever a way of making those spells with a lower chance have a higher chance other than just swinging it towards chaos or law? Not at the moment, but there will be. So like sort of a spell that will give you a, yeah. a higher increased chance of your next spell cast or something? Yeah, or, or our next... Yeah, or, or a certain type or group of, of spells, yeah. Right, okay. So I'm just about to cast a magical attack, which is against three targets. Let's see. If... Oh, it failed. And it fizzled out. It fizzled out, yeah. <laughs> At least I know out. you're not cheating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to move any of my creatures because they're protecting my wizard at the moment, so I'm just going to have to end turn. Can the eagle not attack past creatures? Well... You've got a range of four, so oh no, you can attack my wizard. Yeah, you can. You could. Yeah, you know, you're, actually you can. One, two, <laughs> three, four. You can fly. You've got one space you can reach. I would definitely do it if I were you. That that's why I I yeah. tried to 
move into that uh, hex. Yeah, yeah, that was careless of me. I sh I should have moved. Um, it, it was the only hex that I could move into that was within reach of your wizard, but out of the reach of all of your other creatures. Yeah, but well, actually, what I should have done is move one space down there and then just surrounded myself with my creatures. But I, I, okay, I didn't do that, so I made a mistake. You can take advantage of it now. You can attack me. Only a twenty-five percent chance hits and fails. Oh, a twenty-five percent chance though is a risk I wouldn't want to take very often. Still okay, you're on your wizard, which is good. Uh, still got a spell that I can cast. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work. Hmm. Oh, nice. There we go. There's Let's the go blob. for the gooey There's blob. There's the gooey blob. Um, now I've got to try and get rid of your eagle. Again, it's not... Oh, no, my zombie's engaged to your... Eagle, let's see if the zombie can get it first. No, okay. That means I've got to move my skeleton, I've got to try and move my wizard away. You've got to shuffle all of your pieces around the board. <laughs> yeah, my wizard might be engaged as well. No, no, my wizard's not. That's good. Okay, so my wizard's going to move away and I'm going to cast a spell. Let's see. So okay. I'm assuming all of the undead units are chaos. Yeah. Now, I know undead can only attack. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, it's down to my dwarf now. It's going to come and... It... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> so is, is there an equivalent of the undead class on the law side? Uh, not exact. No, no. I mean, the, the law creatures are... Um, tend to have other types of abilities... Uh, okay, now you're. If your eagle is not engaged, he can attack my wizard again. Oh, Ooh, come on, like two hits. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> it does not want me to. Uh, does not want me to do this, does it? Uh, let's have a look. Got to be careful now. So. Th that um, goblin that's stuck in the gooey blob, is he stuck yeah. there permanently? Well, he's stuck as long as the gooey blob is there. I and mean, the gooey blob, I mean, it kind of will die out at some point. Right, okay. Um, but on the other hand, it will also attack the goblin, so, you know, there's a chance the gooey blob can actually kill my goblin. But I, now, I, I do can... still have to be cautious of it. Yeah, I can try and free my gooey blob by attacking the gooey blob, which I, I might, you know, I probably will do with my skeleton if I can get it there. Right, because it's an enemy unit as far yeah. as you're concerned. Yeah. Oh, oh. attack. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, that would have that would have been a game ender, really. Yeah, well <laughs> uh, no, actually the magical attacks on wizards will only cause them to lose spells. It doesn't Oh right, okay. That's one slight downside of the magical. Otherwise, magical attacks are actually very powerful spells. Now, because my, there's no range on them, is there really? Yeah. Um, your gooey blob killed my goblin there, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, I saw that. I saw yeah. it go down. Quite happy. Now I've got to. I've still got to kill your regal, though. I really must. Okay, first the skeleton's going to have a game. Got a slightly. Oh, yeah, I was going to say it's got a much better chance than the dwarf of doing. So finally, I am free of that. That eagle lasted longer than I expected it was going to. Yeah, yeah, and I, I was, I mean, you could have won the game for sure. Um, have I got anything that's going to... Uh, okay, I'm going to try this one. 45% vampire. Okay, nice, nice. I'm assuming that's another undead unit, of course. Yeah, it's it's the it's the most powerful undead creature. I mean, it's a flying undead creature, and it will. It's got a leech ability, so every time it kills, it gains power. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, so probably what I would do with my vampire is probably try and kill a few of your... Actually, I'm not sure whether the leech works on the goo, but if I kill the goo blob, will that increase his power? I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay. 
Ah, uh, now that's nice, especially when you're riding a mount. Yeah, I'm trying to think ahead now. So... Uh, and there are quite a lot of the spells that I've got... Um, I've, I've got a few Chaos ones. Let's try and kill this key blob. I think when you've got so many creatures on the board in comparison to me, it's do I take the risk of trying to summon something that has a very small chance of summoning and getting yeah. behind again? Well, it, sometimes it can work. I mean, if it's a dragon, that can be a bit of a game changer. Uh, now, oh, I've got an elephant. I should have cast that really. It's now, now's my chance to cast it, I think. Oh, what a fail. My first elephant failed as well. Oh, the blob's got my skeleton there. Ooh, traps. Good stuff. I'm quite happy about that. Um, let's have a look. Are my own units are, uh, able to pass through gooey blob, or is it hostile to everyone? It's uh, Your gooey blob will not spread on top of you, or your, or your creatures, so it's it's only hostile to the, to the enemy. Yeah. Okay. Now, what dare I ask is Shadow Wood. I've seen that one in. Oh, that's game. pretty good. So you basically you create a. I think it's up to seven or eight trees. I can't remember. Was it six? I can't remember. You, you basically you cast a, a number of trees, which are. Um, they're like a static creature in the sense they can attack, but they can't move. Uh, it's a good one. Defensive. So it's a sort spell. of a defensive. Yeah, you build a sort of like defensive zone, if you like. I would say, yeah, that's definitely worth casting. It's a defensive spell. It gives you a chance to rest easy a little bit and uh, summon some more creatures later. I see you can't place them directly next to each other, though, yeah. so you can't just build yeah. a solid, impassable wall. No. But no. it's a little bit like a turret section, then, because you yeah. have to be you're forced in between two of them. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Well, you sort of have created a wall on that side because you you place them either the side of the rock there. I can still is, get up though, which is good. Down on another side. Yeah. Um, Did I end my turn? Oh, that's no. Oh, unfinished moves, but I'm okay with that. For yeah, because you're. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, um, on the other hand, I'm going to try and. I figure just making it as hard as possible for real creatures to get to me. My skeleton is stuck, so I'm gonna. Yes, I'm very much hoping the gooey blob does its thing and removes that skeleton for me. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh well, no, it can't because it's oh no, because it's undead, undead and only yes. Yeah. yeah. So the but skeleton it... is is well, he's stuck anyway. Uh, Immune to being killed, but is is yeah, rooted. He is stuck. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a magic shield. I'm trying to protect myself, which is. Okay, okay, got a magic shield, that's good. That Is that a time. permanent thing or does it have yeah. like a turn timer on it? Yeah, oops, the, the blob has died out on my skeleton, but it's spread elsewhere. That's, that's rather unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> now, your biggest problem is the vampire because you need something that can deal with him. I mean, it's either another under creature or something like magic bolt, magical attack. Oh, yes, actually, your, your bow can be used to attack the vampire as well. Oh, right, okay. Because it's a magic weapon. Doesn't have a huge amount of chance of success, sadly. No, the vampire is is one tough motherfucker, basically. So well, I hit it. <laughs> his defense is four. Actually, he's not, he's not that tough. He's not that tough. I did hit it. Um, let's hop down there a little bit. Make it get as far away from you as possible. Yeah, good idea. Uh, I'm going to bring my skeleton. Is going to. Yeah. I've managed to kill any of your blobs yet. Those blobs that are still on the battlefield, they still have a chance to spread. Yeah. So that skeleton could end up getting itself in trouble again. Yeah. And I won't do that. I'll bring the zombie here to take that. Ah, oh, your blobs are proving very. <laughs> 
very the, the invincible silly. gooey blob. Um, I am noticing what appears to be a very sort of humanoid shape within that gluey, gooey blob. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and bring out Spider. Nice. Once again, you do seem to be overwhelming me with units. Yeah. Um, well, maybe not all of them are real, though. <laughs> yeah, there's a point. Oh, you blobbed... Ah, you got another gooey blob. <laughs> I know how much you love that stuff. Um, well, that's pretty good. As long as my vampire is trapped in a blob, you can sit there shooting at him from your next turn <laughs> onwards. Um, this is... Yeah, even though I've got more creatures, you're proving difficult to get to. <laughs> I'm nothing if not a pain in the ass. Oh, I managed to put one of your trees. That's good. Wow, that zombie's really not having a lot of luck against that gooey blob. No. Move a little bit, I think. Yeah. Now, I remember you telling me the spiders have a have a web ability. Yep. Does that work on the wizards as well, or just on some? Yeah, it can work on the wizards, yeah. Uh, I tried to cast another vampire, it failed. Hmm, now what do I do? So obviously, because there's a limited number of turns, you do start to run out of spells quite quickly as well. Yeah, so we're getting to the point where you, where spells mm -hmm. are going to start running out, and then you have to start looking at the victory point situation. Oh my goodness me, that was very good. <laughs> yeah, I don't have an awful lot left I can do, though, but... Um... I'm considering my options. Well, I mean, your wizard's pretty tooled up. I mean, you've got a an elephant with a magic bow. Yeah, that door's getting a bit close. I think even if I just sit here pinging away at you, though, you're probably still more likely to uh, beat me on victory points. Maybe. That I did not like. Yeah, that was... Uh, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try I should have tried this before but I'm going to try casting Disbelieve on your elephant uh, it's real okay, oh well, it's worth checking worth a try, well you've got a significant board advantage so it was hardly a a wasted turn um, now your goo bob is spreading quite well there, I will try and run away from it I think oh and it's spreading some more yeah didn't go onto my skeleton there. Uh, skeleton is quite vulnerable to your bow. Which is quite a strange thing in most um, strategy games because normally um, skeletons have a high resistance to piercing damage. You're going in a bit of a, a, bit of a different direction. Yeah, there. well, it is a magic bow. Mm, fortunately, I don't have line of sight on him, I don't think. You should have. No, I've got line of sight. Am I on the right one? I'm on the right oh, one. I've got the elephant you selected. Select the That's elephant. What it was. Yeah, and then you select, select rider. rider. And that yeah. will. Well, he got him, but he was an illusion. It was an illusion. Ah, yes. So I'm still finding it a little bit difficult. I, I thought it was. I mean, I think I've only seen the effect once, but it, it didn't. It wasn't obvious to me that it was an illusion there. I thought it was. But it wasn't until you confirmed it. Yeah, it was an illusion. Uh, I'd probably you move do? your elephant onto the higher ground there. I did already move him once, but I can undo that, can't mm -hmm. I? I don't undo think move. Him. There we go. Did you? Oh, right, okay. And then. Let me select the elephant. Ah, there we go. Although you. You can still get your spider to move, which I'm... Yeah, a spider can move three spaces. But can spider move from low ground directly to the high ground? No. Right, so it can't really climb. No. So I should be just about safe there. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, well, I guess I better get my spider to... Moving for the attack. 
Oh, your elephant is now webbed. That's not good. Can't attack with my dwarf. So you can't attack between the levels either? No. Can you attack between the, the lower levels? Yeah. Is there any advantage or disadvantage for having the high ground? Yes, there is, yeah. Yeah, you get, um, I can't remember how much it is, plus 10% attacking bonus, something like that. Okay, I'm going to try casting this one. Very 20% chance, but it's worth it now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my is that, goodness me. Is, is that GG? It's a, it's a gold dragon. <laughs> That's not good. Um. Right. Creature is disabled, but the rider isn't. Only a twenty-two percent chance to hit you with the bow. Which one, the dragon? It, no, the spider. Spider. Um. Yeah, spiders are pretty tough. Mm. If here's where magical attacks would be very useful, or magic bolts. If you've got any creatures left, then it might be a good time to. Yeah, so. Good. But, well, it, uh, was, it was an illusion. <laughs> so it was a bit of a waste. Um, so is there any advantage to casting it as an illusion other than as a real one? Um, well, the advantage the advantage of casting an illusion is that you just got 100% chance of... Uh, oh, so an illusion will always cast. Yeah, basically right. that's it. Okay, your elephant managed to free itself of the web. Your web. Uh, now... Okay, I guess it's down to my dragon, dragon to really to shreds. Oh, I failed. <laughs> Have I got any more creatures? Let me just check. So those trees can't actually do any damage back, they're literally just a, a fence. I. Uh, Oh, no, your creatures can attack. You should have been attacking with your creatures. Oh, I hadn't realised that. I didn't realise that the sorry, creatures yeah, can, I should, the trees yeah, can attack. Yeah, they can attack. So you can attack my... Um, dwarf. Dwarf. Uh, you could have attacked my spider as well. Yeah, sorry, I should have reminded you of that. Oh, it's okay. Um, it was my own fault because it kept, when I had the end turn button, it kept saying that there, were, there was units that hadn't moved, but obviously in, in the current state, it doesn't tell me which units they are. So Yeah. Let's try and... Okay, I've just got a spell to cast. Again, it's a magical attack. Let's see what happens. Oh, failed. E. Time to change the batteries. And that gooey blob is still somehow spreading. Yeah, it's kind of, it's dying out now, though. Okay, that's one way to there do it. There we go. The more you know. Uh, I don't have an awful lot that's going to help me, sadly. Mm. Okay, so he was okay. real. He I was, I was, I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's worth a try. I was quite lucky to get him actually. Well, so I thought if you've got that same twenty percent chance that I have. Oh, oh, that's the elephant, though. Yeah. Now you are officially in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or is it me who's officially in trouble? <laughs> she killed the I am so <laughs> amazed that that worked. Probably wasn't a very high chance. Oh. Now actually, now this is an interesting situation because you've got more victory points than me. So I have to attack. I've got no. If I, there's no point in me running away now. I. I was a little bit confused by that move because when I selected my wizard, it said that I could hit the zombie. Yeah. And I thought I could hit it from there. I wasn't actually expecting that my wizard was going to reposition. Uh, yeah. So basically, where it highlights all targets that you can attack uh, by turn. moving there. Yeah. And when you click on it, it'll show you where it'll show you where you can move to to attack it. You know, it'll right, show you all okay. the positions that you can attack from. Okay, I am going to. Well, there's actually nothing I can do really right this minute. Let's. 
Okay, I'm just going to enter. Um, so you could shoot me with your bow. You could. Well, you do have that shield. Actually, you don't. You can run away because you're you're winning. You you do not need to attack me. That is the point. So I can ju I can literally just stall and go for the win here. Yes, which is what you probably should do, really. Fizzled out. That was worth a try. It's something else on the board to uh, to block you in. Yeah, I've got one spell left I can use, but let's see if it works. No, so do you, didn't. Do you get do you get victory points from successfully summoning, or is it just from yeah. destroying other creatures? Yeah, successfully casting any spell, killing creatures, killing wizards. That's it. And you are ahead because you've done you've killed a lot more things now. So I, yeah. <laughs> this does not want to work for me. Yeah, you still need to run away, though. So. Yeah, okay. true. And the gooey blob is still expanding. <laughs> Move if you can. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I've got no choice but to try and try and get to you really. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit in the corner and just hide. Yeah. So there's only going to be one turn left if this uh, if this doesn't work. Uh, yeah, two turns because it's what's happening. My missus is surviving. Oh, <laughs> that shield's really paying dividends, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Do I do I have anything? Hmm. Let's move to there. Oh my goodness me. How, how is this happening? <laughs> Could be an illusion, but it doesn't help me because I, I have to kill you this turn. Well, maybe I can kill the dragon. No. No, it's, it's... Okay, this is it. This is the final turn. Wow, you are surviving. Oh, there we go. Or not, as the case may be. And the dragon was <laughs> real. It was, it, it was the last spell I had, and it actually cast. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I, you probably didn't need it to win, but it's, it may have helped a bit. It okay, was just, well just to prove that I could do it. Yeah, well played, I think. That was that was quite a close game. I thought I had it in, in the bag, <laughs> but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah. so, no, thank you very much for that. That was very enjoyable, and it's always nice to play such a game against a strategy master. It makes it all that more fun. <laughs> and that You're victory welcome. all that more sweeter. You're welcome. All right. Thanks a lot, Julian. Cheers.